Don't you just love it? The old knees 32 look great. No issues. So I updated it to the new F4. Wow. However, I seem to have vibration problems. Vibration problems. anti-vibration mounts really I've upgraded this it was working great he's 32 never had any issues got an F4 that's the way to go get F4 John now vibration issues oh vibration from the motors causes chaos with the flight controller what oh you need soft mounts for the motors what Yep, you need uh, rubberized mounting pillars to stop anti-vibration. What? Apparently the F4 flight controllers are so sensitive for vibration that you need to basically treat them with loving care because they pick up absolutely everything you breathe on them. That will upset the flight controller. If there's an earthquake in Outer Mongolia, that will affect the flight controller. Oh, for God's sake. All right. So what have we got? We got Nase 32, okay, they work, old news. Upgrade to the F4 flight controller, and you've got a world of pain. What are soft mounts? You've got two soft mount options. One of them is the, the board mount. So you basically get this little, so you get this, which is three millimeter fee for the nut and three millimeter for the for the screw in the bottom and that is obviously flexible so there's no solid uh, connection to the flight controller so there's this this rubber coupler which gives it um, isolation from vibrations in theory You have the motor mounts, two different thicknesses. These are about one mil and two mil thereabouts. So, how thick are they? 1.45, 0.48, half a millimeter, one and a half millimeter. They uh, they sit underneath, so. So, soft mounts, the way to go is these thicker mounts, they're quite good and they probably give you a good isolation from vibration, however, they can be a little bit squishy, <clears throat> squishy, 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 they can be a little bit squishy, squishy. Now this is where I notice something. If we look, I don't know whether you can see carefully in there, you can find, see the silicone has actually expanded and, and, and actually entered into the center area. It's, it's squidged out, for a better word. And because it's squidged out, it's actually causing friction on the motor. Uh, if you tried to fly like this, it would probably cause you problems, the motor may overheat. So what all you have to do is get yourself a scalpel blade, put it in there and go round in a circle and simply cut that squidged out bit off and hook it out. and cut that off. It's perfect. No friction. Sweet. 
So don't forget, they're good, but allow for the squish. Because they're squishy. They are squishy. And that is all there's to it. But like I said, make sure this they spin free. There's no friction. If there is friction, then don't try flying it. Silicone will bind and will cause problems. So just need to be aware of that. These are sport from Banggood. They're a little bit thicker than I would have liked. And they are a nice silicone pad, but they will squidge out into the center area. And if they squidge out in that center area, you will have problems. With the red bottoms, you have a little C-clip on there. That C-clip will probably ping off in this with the silicone. So it'll bind and off she comes. So just to make you aware, like I said, if they're spinning free, then you know you're okay. Well, thanks once again for watching T Woolly Sheep Reviews. What's coming up next? Hmm, I got a little project. I've been putting it off for a while. It's the AR Wing by Sonic Models and I'm going to be building it next. Yes, sad I know, but I got this cheap. Don't tell the wife, she killed me. I promise no more planes. But I have got rid of one plane, but that was because it was broken. Same. Thank you for watching Team Holy Sheep Reviews. Hope you like what I do. If you do, subscribe. Thank you very much. See you soon.